Welcome to this quick tutorial on how to install the We the People mod pack to Sid Meier's Civilization IV Colonization. This tutorial is going to be for the Steam version uh, on Windows. Now I know from experience that the Mac version unfortunately does not support mods that require DLL files, which this does. It's a very complex mod. If you're going to want to play on a Mac, you're going to need to use Bootcamp or a VM. I can't speak to whether cross, crossover or wineskins work. You'll have to come up with that yourself. Okay, let's get started. So what I want you to do is open up Steam and find Civ 4 Colonization in your menu. You're going to right click on it. You're going to hit manage and you're going to go browse local files. Now, this is done on a fresh install. Uh, and what you're going to see in here is uh, you can see a load of files uh, that are in here. You can ignore most of them. What you're looking for is a folder called mods. M-O-D-S that uh, is in there. Now you can see on this fresh install it doesn't actually exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, create it. Uh, I'm going to do it by right clicking uh, in the window and hitting new folder. And we're just going to call it mods with a capital M. One further thing I should say is that if your mods folder already exists, uh, i.e. you've already installed some mods, uh, you might want to delete uh, the old version of We The People. Uh, a lot of the features are very new and you're going to want to start a fresh save. It's not going to be save compatible. So uh, let's do that if you've got it. If not, uh, then create the folder and let's move on to the next step. The next thing we're going to want to do, uh, go to a search engine. Google is the one I'm using here. There are others available. Uh, go there, type in we're Civ Fanatics. We the pe people, if I can type it. Uh, this first one here, Civ Fanatics Forum, that's what you want. Go there, We the People. It's going to take you straight into the sub forum. And the post that you're going to want is this pinned one at the top, Mod Overview. We're going to click on that. Uh, in here, you can read about some of the features and some of the plans. Um, but for the moment, for this video, we are going to go down to this bit where it says where to download releases going to click the link to the GitHub release page. Here you're going to see the most recent version. You can see that 2.8 uh, was released 18 days ago as I record this video. It's got a list of the new features. You can have a look through there yourselves. Um, and at the bottom of the post, you're going to find the assets. Uh, what I suggest, unless you're familiar with raw format, is to download the .zip version. Uh, you can see that the sizes are slightly different because raw is a slightly better compression. But most operating systems have uh, inbuilt .zip support. So we're just going to grab that for now. You're going to wait for it to download. Uh, and then you're going to move on to the next step. So now that we have the mod pack downloaded, what we're going to want to do is navigate to where it downloaded to. In this case, it's on my desktop, but it might well be in your downloads folder. Um, what I'm going to do, because as you can see here, and if you've forgotten, you can right click in Steam. Uh, and go to Browse Local Files to open up where you're going to need to put this. Um, what I like to do is to move my download into the mods folder um, because as you can see here from this file path, it's a little bit weird and sometimes you run into hidden files on Windows and it's not easy to find. So now that We The People is in here, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it. I'm using WinRAR here, so it has this option. Your operating system might just present it as a folder already. And we're going to hit Extract here. Uh, and if you did download the .raw version, WinRAR, which is a uh, app that you can download that handles the raw format. Um, it does allow a free usage. There is a donation, I think, that you can give. Um, but that's what I'm using here. Um, and you can see it's actually just dumped it all into this mods folder. So that's not what we're going to want to have. Uh, in here, we're going to want to create a new folder. And we're going to call it uh, we the WTP, or We the People. Uh, and we'll call it 2.8, just so that I can keep track of it. Um, you're going to find in here some install instructions, which will be helpful. Um, and there's a, an important point here that we'll come to in a little bit. Uh, but the first thing is we're going to tidy up the mods folder by just putting everything that we just downloaded into that new We The People folder. So the next stage is uh, we need, as you can look in the install instructions here, which is this, this file here, uh, we need to choose whether we're going to use one city plot or two city plot uh, option. Now, uh, the difference between these two is whether your cities reach uh, more than one tile radius out. Um, I play with two plot, which I think is how the mod is designed. One plot will make it so that your cities are a lot smaller. 
and it's much more like the original colonization. For the purposes of this video, we're going to do two plot. Now, uh, going into the mods folder, uh, we the people, the new folder we just created. And again, if you've forgotten how to get here, you can right click on civ 4 col in Steam and go browse local files, uh, and then double click the mods folder. We are going to go into the two city plot file. We are going to right click on this DLL file that's appeared. We're going to hit copy, go back up, and we are going to paste it into this assets directory. And we're just going to paste it into here. And we're just going to overwrite the one just here. And that should be noted that if you switch between one and two city plots, they are not compatible. So they're not save game compatible. You will have to manually switch them each time that you want to uh, change between the two different game options, uh, which is why it's probably worth keeping these two folders in here uh, and copying these folders files rather than just uh, cutting them so that you can always change between them. Right, we're almost there. So what you're going to want to do now is launch Civ 4 Colonization, and it will load into the traditional screen. When you're on the main screen, you're going to hit Advanced, and you're going to hit Load a Mod. And you should see an option which matches the directory name you created. So for Weed to People 8 here, uh, we're going to hit that, and we're going to hit OK. And the game will exit, and it will take a few minutes. Depending on how fast your computer is, it's got to load a load of new information. I believe the mod is almost bigger than the original game at this point. Uh, so that'll take a few minutes, and once that's done, uh, you'll see the loader come in. You can see that it's loading We The People stuff, and it will come back up, and you'll have the We The People splash, and you're ready to play a game. One little tip um, is that if you already have a game that you've saved with the mod pack loaded, what you can do is load that game uh, from the initial screen, and it will ask you to load the mod and the application will restart. And so you can hit go on that uh, and the game will restart with the mod and it can take a little bit of time for it to load because it has to load the save game and the game and the mod. Uh, here we go. And there you go, it's loading straight into the game and you can start playing straight away on 2.8. One final tip I want to leave you with is that you can actually edit your Steam install to launch straight into the app. Now, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to right click Civ 4 Colonization in Steam. We're going to go down to Properties. When the window opens, you're going to hit Set Launch Options in the General tab. And you're going to put in the following. Mod equals slash and then whatever you call the directory. So if you followed my instructions direct directly, this will work. I'll put it in the comments. Um, but this piece of text here needs to match whatever you called the mod in your mods folder. Um, and then once we've done that, you hit OK, hit close. And when you hit play, the game should, as if by magic, should, as if by magic, launch into We The People. And you can see there it's loading the XML. And here it is. We're into We The People. And there you go. So I want to leave you with uh, go and download this mod. It completely redoes this game. It's like a whole new experience. Please go to the Civ Fanatics forums and give the mod creators some love. Play the app. Tell your friends about it. Uh, tell everyone about it. And it'll be great. Uh, it'll be everywhere. And all your favorite streamers will be doing it. And everyone's going to be talking about We The People. So let's just do it. Download the mod. Play it. Tell everyone. Uh, and give love on Sifanatics. Thanks for watching.